Hello and welcome everyone. Thanks for joining me on this video. Today we are going to be um, working with some easel cards and last video I made this really pretty angelic angel easel card and so if you haven't went and watched this video go watch that. It is um, a really great easel card that you can make for the holidays and today we're going to be working with the ferris wheel easel dies and this is what we're going to be making on today it's going to have some really pretty colors and flowers this is what the die set looks like it is an easel die so you will need your big empress plate system to cut out this portion of it right here and the rest of it you can use your smaller plates so this is the base of the easel it just has two score lines on it that you need to score on so grab your bone folder fold it in the middle to create that fold line and then score it one more time where you're going to um, put your pieces so that it folds up like an easel I decided to do something a little bit different. Um, normally I would have cut this out of a double-sided paper that was already decorated and everything, but I wanted to try my hand at some inking. So I grabbed three Distress Ink colors in a paper, in the color of the paper that I'm going to be using. And I'm gonna kinda like make some uh, background image for this um, paper and I'm using the same dauber for all of the ink colors I don't care if they get all mixed up together um, forgive the camera for shaking a little bit um, and I'm just you know taking the little the colors and just going around and just placing a little blob around so that they all mix together this is a super easy thing to do and it's just because my paper that I'm gonna be using, it has a, like a, it looks like the sky. And so I kind of wanted to add that to the back. Now, if you wanna just make your life easier, just get a double-sided <laughs> piece of cardstock and use that and you'll be good to go. So this is what it looks like. It just has a little bit of color around the outer edge because that's all we needed because we're gonna put our paper over the top. And I really like how the colors really match up with that. And so I did the same thing on the top piece so that I could put my other piece of die cut on. And um, you see that the one has the um, trees in the background and I really like that on the bottom so that when you open up your easel you can see those trees and it kind of reminds me of going to an amusement park or something like that. So the main die cut of the Ferris wheel I decided to cut it out of a uh, foil, a silver foil cardstock and I really liked it. And, and, you know I was thinking like a metal, old metal and that's why I decided on that. And as far as the seats or chairs that you would sit in to ride the ride, I am going to do an offsetting technique. So I did um, cut out one piece of gold and then I cut out a white piece that I'm just gonna do that same inking technique. And so each car is gonna get its own color and that there is one car that you're gonna have to kind of decide what color you want it to be. And they're gonna just get offset onto each other. The gold piece has foam pads on the back of it, but the white piece that we just colored, it just has glue and is being stuck down that way. And so once you have that all together, you're gonna bring back your wonderfully fun Ferris wheel. I love this thing, it's so fun. And that's why I wanted to do some really just fun colors that I've never done before. It's very pastel, um, very, quite different it's really got a, like a, a a summertime look to it um you could jazz this up in so many ways and this is the centerpiece die i decided to put blue rhinestones and purple rhinestones on there and i really thought that that gave it a really nice like ferris wheel effect because you know when you have a ferris wheel it has lights sometimes that that go you know there are different color lights that are on it and that's where I decided to do that and this Ferris wheel um, 
you could have put a brad on it and made it turn but um my embellishments are gonna um, block it from turning so i didn't even bother doing that but just know that that is an option um if you have some of the imp impression dies that's where that bow came from and um, you can grab that and put one of those on there mine's is a pretty simple ferris wheel um i didn't want to overdo it too much and i just wanted it to say it's your birthday and so it's for someone who is having a very special birthday i want to put some flowers on there i really um like these particular flowers because they already were kind of in a semi-circle and um could really just give that kind of a uh, circle effect to our ferris wheel and embellish it that way and so i just used two of those i think this looks stunning and you can see that this is taking absolutely no time at all so this is the die that came in there that i'm going to use i, I made i cut out two of them and i foam padded them up and i'm just gonna use this as my stopper for the inside of this ferris wheel and it is that's pretty much where i'm gonna end this um the decorating and uh all of that of this ferris wheel it was like super simple super easy and super fun to make so if you have this ferris wheel die don't be intimidated by it get it out cut cut out your pieces out of anything that you want or you know use some inking if you wanted that's something that i hardly ever do and so i thought i'd give that a try i really liked it it came out really nice it's really pretty and don't forget to like comment and subscribe on this video if you're enjoying it and um don't forget to go watch that angel video uh for that and we'll be doing another video here very soon have a great day bye